Today's video is the third in my series of tips to get your house ready to sell. In my last two videos, I talked about how to get your exterior of your home ready. In this short video, I have some tips on how to get the garage ready. And those tips are coming up right now. My name is Curtis Turner. I'm a licensed real estate agent in South Jordan, Utah with Exit Realty. When getting your home ready to sell, I believe you should work on the garage before starting on the interior rooms like the basement or the bedrooms. The reason is you may need that garage space to store or even stage some of the items from those other rooms. An example might be you need to move some furniture out of the way um, from a bedroom so you can paint. But with the garage open and available, now you can move that stuff. If your garage is a total mess, then uh, you won't be able to move that stuff. You'll be storing that in other rooms. For many people, the garage has become an in-house storage unit and a cluttered mess. Some people have originally tried to turn their garage into something like a workshop or a mechanic shop for their motorcycle, but you'll want to get it ready for the average home buyer. You'll want to prepare it to show off all of its potential. What I mean by this is if you have a big workbench that's taken up half the garage space, you may want to remove that so that you can emphasize the entire width of the garage. So first we need to get rid of all that clutter. There might be items in your garage that you haven't touched in years. It's easy to justify keeping items, but if you can't remember the last time you used that item, it's probably ready to be thrown out, recycled, or just maybe you should sell it. Next is to look at maximizing your space. Take advantage of that space in the ceiling. This is a great place to hang some of your gear or even store some of those boxes with your holiday decorations. You should try and emphasize the width of the garage. If you have large storage shelves on both sides, that'll make it look pretty narrow. Those storage shelves may prevent you from also opening up your car all the way, and so you have to kind of squeeze out. You'll want to keep your most used items accessible, but only the ones you know you're gonna be using before you move. Anything else should just be packed up and ready to move. Having them in boxes will also make the garage look a lot more organized. Now that you have organized organized and boxed up um, all your unused items, it's time to clean. You're gonna need to sweep and spray out the garage, you know, get that floor as clean as possible, get rid of all the cobwebs. If you have a lawnmower in the garage, get it out. They take up space and they usually leave a mess. Also, get out any gas cans, oil, or chemicals out of your garage. If they're not in a specifically designed storage cabinet, one made just for chemicals, they should not be in your garage they are a huge fire hazard. You should also add in a fire extinguisher if you already don't have one. If you have a motorcycle or some ATVs, you'll wanna cover them up. To me, having your motorcycle covered always makes it look more organized when it's in the garage. It gives off also an impression that the owner is diligent in taking care of their property. Also, you don't know what type of people might be looking at your home. Uh, you'll want anything of value to be out of sight. In the case of your motorcycle and ATV, you don't want them to know what kind you have. This is important because for an example, you might own this really nice $30,000 touring bike. You don't want everybody to know that. You don't want to advertise the expensive stuff that you have. You know, not to be paranoid, but you know, there's a potential for people to just go through homes just to stake them out. Now let's talk about your garage door. You know, check the door for proper function. You know, is it going up and down easily without lots of squeaks and pops? You know, if not, you may want to grease the wheels, the tracks, and the hinges. Uh, also, don't forget to tighten the bolts on the hinges. They tend to come loose sometimes, and that'll end up torquing the door and cause cracks in the metal. The last thing to check on your door is that weather stripping at the bottom. Replacing it with a new one will help keep the dirt, grass, leaves, and all that kind of stuff from blowing in underneath and making your garage a total mess again. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you have a question, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Also, stay safe.